How you doing, Mr. Thompson? Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. I won't be yammering on. I, I'll get right to the point. I'm broke. I'm on the balls of my ass. I need a job. I want to work for you. You see, Mr. Thompson, nobody can do what I can do. I'm a specialist. See, when I was in the Army, they taught me how to work with chemicals and explosives. Nitroglycerin, TNT, mustard gas. And I was in a demolition platoon. And we'd blow bridges, tunnels, roads, buildings, trains, cars. See these? The Germans started using these on us after the end of the war. Called fear bomb, fire bomb. It's a mixture of kerosene and motor oil. But I don't use that. I use something better. I use gasoline and alcohol. Burns much faster, much hotter. See the cigar box here? Just like an empty ammunition box that they taught us how to booby trap. You send this to somebody who's trying to kill you, the only thing smoking will be the building rubble on top of them. Have you ever heard of the Battle of Ypres, Mr. Thompson? March 1917, French-Belgian border. Half a million people got killed there. But through a series of mine shaft explosions, we were able to push back over 22,000 Germans and cut their lines and hold them off for up to six months. The Limeys took credit for it, but they didn't do it. It was us. Three of us. My two buddies, they didn't make it. What I'm saying to you, Mr. Thompson, is if three guys can hold off 22,000 Germans, I think I can help you hold off what you got coming at you. And I was hoping that a man in your present position might be able to use a guy like me and what I got to offer. Well, thanks for listening, Mr. Thompson. I gotta get back to work. <laughs>